Welcome to the Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. B.P. Rahul, Senior Medical Correspondent at Medical Dialogues and today I will be discussing about oxygen by intravenous route, a major experiment. Boston Children's Hospital researchers have found a new device that can inject oxygen into bloodstream through IV route. The study originally conducted on rats is paving the way for human trials and can work wonders to prevent oxygen loss. Oxygen is carried through the blood to various organs of the body and utilized for oxidative phosphorylation. Under normal circumstances, our body has sufficient oxygen, but certain conditions like COVID-19 cause serious deprivation. Though the technology is far from ready for testing in people, the test run with the rat is a nice proof of concept, says John Kerr, MD, a doctor in cardiac intensive care unit at Boston Children's Hospital, who is leading the work on the new device. The research conducted by Ashwin Kumar Bhutha and others tries to replace the function of lungs when they are injured with the use of intravenous line in order to administer oxygen. The present options for patients requiring oxygen are through a nasal cannula, ventilator, and extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, that is ECMO machine, in severe cases. Nearly all these options have some drawbacks. While the ECMO machine has high chances of infection, the ventilator can damage the lungs of the patients in prolonged use. For the IV oxygen infusion, the amount should be matched exactly to the oxygen sink in the bloodstream. Too much or too little is known to cause drastic consequences which may be life-threatening. The study mentioned several key features of this IV oxygen device that improves the safety and efficiency of intravenous oxygen. The device generates nanobubbles instead of micrometer size bubbles which are consumed before they get a chance to grow in size. It permits real-time control of the blood oxygen tension by varying the rates of liquid and or gas flow which in turn allows the safe infusion of high or low concentration of oxygen gas. Most importantly, it can be integrated with the existing ventilators, which will ensure a seamless medical experience. In situ oxygen spraying lipid oxygen microbubbles reduced the chances of shell-related toxicities and need for long-term storage, which was a limiting factor for these microbubbles since a long time. The researchers strongly believe that aforementioned features would be very helpful in providing long-term oxygen supports for patients suffering from refractory hypoxic respiratory failure. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.